The Archangel Mikael presides over the autumn equinox, which occurs on September 22nd. On this day, the sun inaugurates a new cycle as it enters Libra. Fruit and nuts fall from the trees and decompose, leaving their empty husks on the ground. Grains are sorted and consumed or stored before being sown to ensure a new cycle of growth. But this process of decomposition and sorting is not something that concerns only the world of plants. It also concerns human beings. Just as the fruit separates from the tree and the seed or stone separates from the fruit, so the soul is separated from the body, spiritually if not physically. The body is an envelope, the wrapping, and the soul is the seed that is planted above in the soil of heaven. Human beings are fruit, and when they are ripe, they must not fall to the ground like the fruits and seeds of earth, but soar away to heaven. Autumn is the season for that separation, of which Hermes Trismegistus speaks, You shall separate the subtle from the gross, gently and with great skill. To separate the subtle from the gross is to separate the spiritual from the material, and the whole of nature undergoes this process of separation in autumn, in preparation for the coming of new life. Just as the Archangel Mikael comes to separate the soul from the body, leaving the body to die, so initiates allow some matter within them to die in order to liberate life. Mikolmas is fabulously rich in meaning for those who understand that it can bring them total liberation. Death, the separation from the physical body, is an ascension to a higher plane. The soul is carried away by Saint Mikael and weighed on his scales. His sword severs the ties which hold it to earth, then the soul is weighed, judged, and sent to the sphere that corresponds to its degree of evolution.